I'm going to discuss the single worst side effect associated with cortisone injections. Recent clinical trial data looking at the effects of cortisone shots have revealed some astonishing data, and they can have serious consequences to your joints and your tendons. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. Corticosteroid injections, also known as cortisone shots, are a type of medication commonly used to treat musculoskeletal conditions. When injected into an affected area, corticosteroids have anti-inflammatory properties. This means they can help reduce inflammation, swelling, and pain associated with various musculoskeletal conditions such as arthritis, tendonitis, and bursitis. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. What we know from laboratory research is that corticosteroids restrict the delivery of nutrients to a wounded area. They slow the formation of new tissue, they damage existing collagen, and they increase tissue degradation. These are the exact properties that dermatologists are looking for when treating scar tissue. They actually leverage the catabolic effects of cortisone to break down excessive collagen tissue in keloids. This obviously poses a significant problem in orthopedics because our tendons are also composed of collagen. Cortisone injections can provide temporary relief for tendonitis and tendinopathies, but they also put the body at risk for further tendon damage. And this is exactly what we see in clinical trials. This study is a systematic review looking at the efficacy and safety of corticosteroid injections for the treatment of tendinopathies. They write that, there are consistent findings between many high quality randomized controlled trials that corticosteroid injections reduce pain in the short term. But this effect was reversed at intermediate and long terms. This is a landmark meta-analysis in that it presents high-level evidence that cortisone injections are harmful in the long-term treatment for tennis elbow. This is also why corticosteroid injections into some tendons, such as the quadriceps tendon and the Achilles tendon, are associated with tendon tearing and even tendon rupture. Now let's turn our attention to the impact of cortisone injections on joints. Recent data has raised concerns about the potential harm they can cause to cartilage. Let's take osteoarthritis as an example. This is a common degenerative joint disease that primarily affects the articular cartilage. Cartilage is a smooth tissue that pads and cushions the ends of our long bones. Loss of cartilage results in an inflamed and painful joint. This leads to stiffness, swelling, and reduced range of motion. For years, doctors have recommended cortisone shots as a means to alleviate pain and symptoms associated with arthritis. However, this study found that common steroids such as methylprednisolone, dexamethasone, hydrocortisone, betamethasone, prednisolone, and triamcinolone were reported to display dose-dependent deleterious effects on cartilage morphology, histology, and viability in both in vitro and in vivo models. They go on to write that higher doses of steroids were associated with significant gross cartilage damage and chondrocytotoxicity. So while cortisone shots can provide temporary relief and alleviate pain and symptoms, it is important to be aware that they can potentially contribute to the deterioration of healthy cartilage, and this results in further cartilage loss. In fact, that's exactly what this clinical trial showed. They found that among patients with symptomatic knee osteoarthritis, intraarticular cortisone shots compared with placebo saline injections resulted in significantly greater cartilage volume loss and no significant difference in knee pain. To make matters worse, recent studies have unveiled a concerning association between cortisone injections and rapidly destructive joint disease. This is characterized by progressive joint space narrowing, osteolysis, and collapse of the joint architecture. This study found a dose-response association between intraarticular hip cortisone injections and rapidly destructive hip disease. Higher dose injections, as well as multiple injections, significantly increase the risk. All of this recent data suggests that corticosteroid injections can inflict substantial harm on the joints, potentially worsening arthritis, and ultimately necessitating joint replacement surgery. 
That's why this study wanted to see if there was an association between cortisone injections and the risk of requiring a knee replacement surgery. They found that each cortisone shot increased the absolute risk of knee replacement by 9.4% compared with those who did not receive injections. They conclude that corticosteroid injections seem to be associated with an increased risk of knee arthroplasty in patients with or at risk of developing symptomatic osteoarthritis of the knee. Of course, it's important to note that the associations mentioned do not establish causation. Some would argue that individuals with more severe knee arthritis are more likely to receive additional cortisone shots and were destined to get worse arthritis to begin with. This, of course, is a valid perspective. But what sets cortisone shots apart is the lack of similar effects observed with other common treatments for knee arthritis. In fact, quite the opposite has been found. Several studies indicate that both platelet-rich plasma injections as well as hyaluronic acid injections have shown a potential to decrease the risk of requiring knee replacement surgery. The contrasting outcomes between cortisone shots and alternative treatments strongly support the notion that cortisone injections may indeed be causing more damage. So I think it's evident that corticosteroid injections carry significant and real side effects, and all of this highlights the need for doctors to exercise greater caution when administering them. Now, you may be wondering, what are my alternatives if I've already received a cortisone injection and I'm still experiencing pain? Or perhaps you're seeking alternatives because you prefer not to have cortisone in your body. Well, fear not. The field of orthobiologics and regenerative medicine is rapidly expanding, and one treatment gaining significant attention and generating a lot of hype is platelet-rich plasma. In our next video, we'll take a deep dive into the wonders of PRP injections. You're definitely going to want to check it out next.